guys, Joanne here from Broadcasting Sunny, and I thought for my month of Valentine crafts, I would do a Zentangle heart. And um, I am starting off in pencil, which a lot of Zentangle purists would say is a no-no, but you know what? I am not confident in my drawing yet, so tough luck. Um, I thought... I am not the only one out there and I am a firm believer in just because a purist doesn't think you should do it that way doesn't mean you can't do it that way. So um, have a nice light pencil. This is a mechanical pencil I'm using. Um, oh, actually that heart didn't come out too bad. I'm a bit surprised because I am awful at symmetrical art. It's not perfect, but um, have a very good eraser because you're go the reason I'm using a pencil is to because I'm expecting to erase. Um, this is one of those white erasers that you can get in a craft store and um, office supply so stores. They're pretty cheap. Um, I am not only putting in the heart, when you want to start a uh, Zentangle with an image, because a lot of Zentangle is, um, d does not have an image, it's just Zentangling all over, which is kind of neat to see some of them. Some of them are quite beautiful. But I personally, uh, I like the ones with um, an image in it. I don't know why, I just do. But, so, uh, put that image down first. So you have a guideline. You, those are your guideline lines. I don't like this line, see? Doesn't match up with the others. And now I am putting in lines because I am awful at making things look 3D. So this helps me, guides me to remember to stay 3D. And I'm making these slight curvature type lines. Um, I will show you up close in a minute. Because I'm making them light so I can erase easily so when the time comes. Okay. This is a great um, craft project with for teenagers. Um, I actually got interested in it because of my daughter. Um, all right, so I have the heart, and I'm actually going to start zentangling with just a marker. I am a little bit nervous, so be nice. So anyway, I got started with my daughter who really got into it, found a book in the craft store, and then I found a bunch of books at the library, and uh, soon she was zentangling, and then I started singing it on Facebook, and I found some that were just so beautiful, and I was like, I want to make that, and uh, so I got into zentangling. Okay. So these curvature lines that I made, I actually gonna use them uh, for my first tangle on this heart, which is uh, a John Qual, uh, J-O-N-Q-U-A-L. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these right because they are strange names. And I'm only making half the heart. My stupid camera keeps dying on me, so I apologize. Um, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, actually, uh, this part I always struggle with, so I am going to lightly draw it in pencil just to make sure I got the pattern right. That's the one thing with Zentangle that I found. I am I have a lot of trouble with um, spatial, and um, this will teach you spatial. And it also, uh, my left, right, and... Okay, I think I got the, the gist. I'll be fine now.
I'm making it look kind of bumpy here. I kind of like that effect that's coming out really cool. That was not my intention, but I'm liking it. I might have done that too far away. I have to put one in the middle there. Okay, as for markers, I didn't mention this yet, but um, you can use a Sharpie. Fine point would be great. Um, I am using artist markers um, that you can get at any craft store. Okay, now, ooh, whole craft thing here. Um, I'll start in the corner. And basically every other one you want to color in. And these have four different uh, tips if you see closely on this one it looks almost like a paintbrush tip and it it works that way it's I, I know uh, there are felt tips and I've used them but there I want to say the tip the nib is still harder than this one this one kind of works like a paintbrush I kind of like it so I recommend that if you can I can't remember how much they were um, but if not, uh, like I said, Sharpies will work. As you can see, I outline the square first and then I color it in. That just, to me, is, helps me. It really helps me stay within the lines. I just realized I missed the inside of here. Uh, one more line to the center. It has kind of a harlequin look to it. All right, so that's my one side of my heart. Um, the next one I am going to do is what is called a chat tuck. Um, to me it looks like a ball of yarn. That's why I like it and I wanted to use, I was thinking of doing the whole heart this way, but in the spirit of Zen Tangle, I thought perhaps not. So the biggest part I have trouble with is these long lines. This really should give a curvature. In Zentangle, we will shade it at the end, too. Well, actually, I think I can go straight to um, I'm not going to use a pencil and be crazy! So, this is I am trying to put a little curve to this Zen tangle. Yeah, might not be worth it. Especially since I'm not following the pencil marks that I already found, I put in there, so yeah. Okay, I like how that looks. Um, I know I still have pencil marks in there, but um, once this, I, I wait a little bit till the end to give it a chance to dry somewhat. All right, now I am doing one called Nippa for the background. Putting random circles. All right, this one I'm nervous about. Okay, so 
Wish me luck. I'm gonna get in close, so you, in the beginning you probably won't see much because I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I don't know why, I just am. In math, um, my kids would argue with me quite frequently that um, I was doing, that's not how the teacher taught me. And a lot of my friends and I complain <laughs> that the way they teach in school now is crazy. But aside from that, uh, what I said to them was, if you get the right answer, who cares in what method you got to it? Because you know, on a test, that's all that really matters, let's face it. So I th approach the same philosophy to this Zen tangle, and that's why I am okay with pencil marks. As long as it gives me what I want, I don't really care at what methods I use to get to that point. And don't get me wrong, I know a few, I met some Zentangalists on um, Facebook once I really got into this, and they're all very nice, very helpful. So, uh, there's just a few videos that I've seen where they are, you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way. It's like, really? Is it that important? This has a groovy look, I think. I'm wondering if I should color it in a little bit. Um, in Zentangled, a lot of them are black and white, but I like a splash of color. I think it looks nice. I mean, the black and white is okay, but a splash of color gives it character sometimes. Sometimes it's very nice black and white. I have quite a few that are black and white. I think I'm going to do a different scribbly on this side. Just for something different. It's kind of hard to do the pen on the side when it leaves little skid marks. But I want you to be able to see Trying to add in a few more ripples. Because after you follow the ones next to it for so long, it starts to lose its ripple. So I sometimes add one or two here. Okay. And there it is. Now. The center part, I am sure, is dry. We shall find out. Yep, these markers dry pretty quick. You can also use um, those elastic ones too, but oops, this one I like quite nicely. Now, okay, so now that I have it complete, I'm gonna add in shading. Um, I'm using a 2B pencil. I'm sure any pencil will do. Now I want to get the heart. Interestingly enough, I'm, I'm not the best at shading, I must admit, but 
I will say, looking at it through the camera, I can see it's coming. together. Okay. And there is my Zentangle. So happy Valentine's Day.